What is up you guys? This is Brian Sam. I am Brian. I have another reaction video for you. Um, if you guys can hear my fan. It's hot in this room. I don't know why. But today I have another reaction video from Bruce too. It's called Being Broke. I know all about that. So um, the original link can be in the description box down below. And let's go ahead and get straight to it. Actually, no. Hold on. Before I get into it. Um, so me and Samantha are trying to like figure out like a, a new name for the channel. We're like with Bryce Sam and everything, we like it, but it's not sticking. It's like people calling us Bree Sam. My name is Brian. It's not Brian. So um, probably just gonna change it to Brian and Sam when I had the opportunity to, because Google will not let me change the name. So it's Bryce Sam right now still. Um, and also we're in the mix of trying to uh, think of what to call you guys. Um, I had little troops, but I don't like you guys are probably not. I don't, I don't like that one. But if you guys like, uh, let me know if you guys have anything in the comments down below uh, about you know calling you guys a certain name or, or you know our our family or a small family, which is gonna be a bigger family soon. But I'm gonna stop talking and get into this video. All right, being poor sucks. I wouldn't recommend being poor. I've been poor for most of my life. I've been living on my own since I was 17 years old. And when I was 17, I lived with my roommate Brewer in a duplex. Now that right there should give you an idea of how much money we had. We couldn't even rent a whole house. We rented half a house. Our landlord's like, you guys get the top part. This random stranger gets the bottom part. You guys share a basement and make awkward conversation from time to time. You got it? All right, cool. And let me say, our asses were broke living in that duplex. I was so broke, if I found a nickel on the ground, I wouldn't just put it in my pocket. I'd bust out my wallet and put that baby in there nice and secure. You're not going anywhere. I could buy a half a Tootsie Roll with you. And there's nothing quite like being hungry and having no money. We'd just be sitting there sometimes. Well, we have no money until we get paid on Friday. What day is it? Uh, it's Tuesday. Ah, oh, well, looks like we're fucked. Well, we had a good run. I guess it's time to kill ourselves. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. What's the cheapest way to not feel hungry when you have no money? Sleep. Well, I'll tell you what it is. It's uh, going to sleep. Yep. Just take your ass to sleep. bed. You can't feel hungry when you're asleep. Now, can you? It's like you're using a cheat code. All right, I'm going to sleep for the next three days until we get paid again. Wake me up when we can eat. There's one time we scavenged the whole house, checking underneath all the furniture for any loose change, and somehow we managed to scrape together a decent amount of money, and we were able to buy a whole McDonald's. box of hamburger Ooh. helper. Oh, yeah, we're going to eat good tonight. We're at the grocery store frolicking down the aisle. We're dumping all our change on the counter like the cashier just hit a jackpot on a slot machine. <laughs> we get home, and Brewer decides to cook this hamburger helper in what looks like the oldest, most decrepit pan I've ever seen in my life. It's got rust marks on it. It's all crusty and shit. This damn thing looked like he salvaged it from the Titanic. He serves it up, and there's like these black speckles mixed in the food. And I'm like, what is this, pepper? Did you put pepper in this? No, it wasn't pepper. Spoiler alert. It was like the metal coating on the pan that scraped oh. off mixed in with the food. Oh, well, that's gross. What are we supposed to do now? I'll tell you what we did. We ate it anyways. Not much of a choice there now, was it? This tastes like soot and metal. Yeah, it sure does. There'd be people on Fear Factor that wouldn't even eat this shit. And we're over here getting seconds. It's really not that bad if you close your eyes and try to think of something else. And if we weren't worried about food being on the table, we definitely were worried about getting utilities shut off every month. You'd get a disconnection notice in the mail for the gas, for the electric, for goddamn utilities you didn't even know existed. You'd get a knock on the door. Yeah, hi, Oxygen Company. We're here to shut your shit off. Oxygen Company? What the hell? Bring in the vacuum! <laughs> we had our gas shut off for a whole summer one time. No more warm showers, no more dryer. That gas oven in your kitchen? Well, that just turned into extra counter space. That's what that is. We're not paying the gas bill. What are you, crazy? Most people like having a functioning oven in their kitchen, you know. Some people even see it as a necessity. But us, no, we didn't need that gas oven. We just got an electric toaster oven and put it right on top of our old oven. There we go. Problem solved. Now we can make our Tostino's pizzas again. We had our water shut off for a week one time. Guess what? Now you got no working toilet. Where are you supposed to shit now, smarty pants? If you have ever had the joy of having your water shut off, then you know that you have one remaining flush in that tank on your toilet. You better make it count. So let's do some quick poop, poop. math. You can probably take like four shits in that thing and maybe like, I don't know, 20 pisses before things start breaking the crest of the rim. So everybody in the house rushes to go to the bathroom like it's the last helicopter out of Vietnam. Everybody get in here. We're making the most out of this last 
just flush. Now, you can still use your toilet if uh, you dump some water bottles yeah. in the tank. Manufacture your own flush there. One time, I didn't have any water bottles, but I did have an old two liter of flat Mountain Dew sitting there in the oh kitchen. And I got God. to thinking, that'll work, right? Why wouldn't it? So there I am, dumping Mountain Dew into a toilet tank so I can poop in it. It was probably at this moment in my life <laughs> where I was like, man, I should really get my life sorted out. This is not how I pictured my life to be. Yeah. And while we're on this subject of pooping when you're poor, what are you supposed to wipe with when you got three nickels in your wallet? Because mm -hmm. toilet paper sure as shit is a luxury at that point in your life. I've wiped my ass with so many different substances from not having proper toilet paper. I could write a book on it. How to poop when you're poor. What to wipe with, what to flush with. I'm talking McDonald's napkins, coffee filters. You start looking at how fluffy the cat is thinking, eh, you know what? It's a possibility if worse comes to worse. Oh. Cat's hiding under the couch and shit. You know something's up. You're not wiping with me, buddy. No siree. But having the water or the gas shut off, that wasn't that big of a deal to us. We can deal with that. We'll make do. But where I draw the line is the internet. We tried to pay that bill as best we could. But no matter how hard we'd try, we still got our internet shut off probably about 15 times. You'd be sitting there one day trying to log into your MySpace and you get one of these bad boys pop oh. up on your browser. Oh, God damn it. We don't have any internet. What is this, Pakistan? How am I supposed to switch around my MySpace top eight? I still have Tom in there for Christ's sake. Everybody's going to think I'm some kind of loser. I will gladly shit in some Mountain Dew, but I will be damned if I don't have any internet. BrewStew.com That's rough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably get some of this guy's merch. I love watching him. Man. Uh, being broke. That's tough. Shit, there was... What? There was a time where we were actually living in this house with like no air conditioner and it was like 117 degrees and that was like that was a couple years ago that shit was crazy like our we just moved into this new house and uh the ac broke out and then the like the heat wave i don't even know that was like the year i figured out that it got that hot in california it was it was tough. I was taking like eight cold showers a day and shit. Shit was rough. But I, I know exactly what he's talking about being broke. Shit. Paying bills and being a, an adult. That's never fun. But I hope you guys like that uh, reaction video. If you guys have any videos you want me to react to, just go ahead and comment down below or just hit me up on the social media sites. And once again, this is Bryson. I am Brian. You guys have a great day. Peace.